always find it interesting, this juxtaposition of something natural with something man-made or human-made, something kind of artificial in a way, but that exists in harmony with that natural environment. There's all kinds of magic that happens once you have actual shadows, and the sculpture standing on actual soil and bugs and creatures crawling on it large-scale images that are not rectangular shapes like paintings, they affect people in a certain way. They look a little bit like props in a movie set. Certain specific imagery triggers people, stops them in their track for a few seconds. Public Art Fund has been programming in City Hall Park since 1977. It is a real gem of a park in a part of Manhattan that there isn't a lot of public space. This is a beautiful historic park that connects a lot of different urban infrastructure. Earth Potential is an exhibition by the artist Katia Nibiskova, organized by Public Art Fund. This is actually Katia's first major institutional exhibition in the US and it consists of seven large works by the artist, which really conflate both photography and sculpture. The exhibition is full of juxtapositions. The artist sourced all of these images online, and they really combine the macro and the micro. You have the Earth, you have Venus, all juxtaposed with organisms which vary from the cuttlefish to the earthworm, even to the bacteria E. coli. I'm interested in this idea that there's more images produced and uploaded a day today than in the whole history of humanity. And just this dimension of images that is so massive that it becomes not just a cultural scale but also ecological and environmental. All the images that Katia is using are being currently used within various different scientific research to try and further our understanding of the planet. For example, the C. elegans was the first ever organism to have its whole genome digitized. She's paired it with Titan, which is Saturn's largest moon. I think we were hopeful that visitors to the park would suddenly feel like it had been transformed into this otherworldly, strange environment. It could be seen as sort of a, a landing site or a nest that kind of occurs after the encounter with something alien. But you cannot just look at the sculpture and forget about the world. The world is constantly present around each work. Especially today, this understanding of a planetary scale is just very important to the social and political situation. You don't see any borders from this perspective. You can't deny it's all connected. You can't deny it's so, so beautiful. exhibition as a whole is really about Earth as a resource. The Earth is a resource. Its potential is very complex, it's very layered. We're still unearthing that and still discovering what that can be and hopefully we will be able to preserve that potential for future generations to come.